hi everyone welcome back to another video so I thought I'd just jump on today um because I hadn't done my breakdown from last uh, budget tracker week so I thought I'd just jump on and show you sort of what I do to end my weeks out so um, I've shown you previously in the past the all I did when I've started my budget journey is buy my highlighters and then the sharpie that I had at home I've written on them what the category is just because I couldn't justify spending like $40 on a label maker um, you know I've started a budget I don't have that sort of cash flow available to do that so we'll just go through now and we'll do this together so home utilities I moved our mortgage over to that because the home utilities is everything it takes sort of to run the household so the um, mortgage comes under that because if we didn't have the mortgage we wouldn't have a household to run then I've got food so that's groceries and if we had um, anything in our eating out category it would be that color too we haven't had anything in eating out though for a long time because we are really uh, low with our budget um, at the moment with that job change oh, no, there's nothing for that one uh, insurance so that is just this SGIC and yep that's everything for that one purple is debt so that is this Holden finance and St. George and medical is the AHM is our hospital and extras cover kids and that's uh, for like childcare school costs and like any sporting activities that they have and then can see it here roll over I just do little dots for this one <clears throat> and then what I do here is I write all my categories over this side which I should have done before I started this video So these are our different categories that we have. Let me just have a look at the previous one. So I can never remember what order I've written it in. should have turned the TV down too. I might just go do that now, one sec. My partner's just gone to the shops to pick up a few more things for the week. And so they've left the TV going. He's taken the oldest with him and the two little ones are down for a nap. So, which is nice. And now the reason I um, do this here in this section, which most people usually use to work out the funds that they're getting from the bank. Um, but as you would know, I never have that much to take out from the bank. And I actually just get the money out at the ATM. All you can get out via the ATM is 50s and 20s. So uh, what I do, just to make sure I don't get heaps of $50 notes, is let's say I'm getting out $150. I would just do it in two different transactions to ensure that I get um, more 20s and maybe $150. Otherwise, we just end up with lots of change, which is not a bad thing because it helps fill the change jar. But then that sort of does eat into the budget. Um, 
because I feel that our budget for our groceries is quite low um, for here in Australia anyway. I'm sure there's lots of people out there that can do it a lot cheaper than me, but we like to eat sort of as healthy as we can, which obviously costs money. Um, you know, the cheaper food is always the more processed food and we actually have home cooked meals every night. So when you're putting in, you know, even the frozen veg and stuff like that, it all just adds up. And we have three pets. We have a dog, a cat and a bird. And all of their food and things comes under our grocery budget. So, and we've got the five of us here at home. Uh, the baby will be starting on some baby food soon, but I'll be making my own for him here at home. Um, we actually do have a Thermomix. So that makes it really easy that I can make um, a lot of stuff for him, like really no fuss. Okay, so now that we've got all of these, all I go through and do is fill in this here. And this is just to help me um, break down and close out my week. But also then I use this over the however many weeks we had to then help close out my monthly budget um i don't actually use the six pages i think it is of the trackers um i just found it kind of really tedious to do and i don't feel like i we know where all of our money sort of goes we don't overly have a massive spending, I don't feel anyway, um, problem in any of our categories. So I found it kind of a bit useless for us. So then I add it all together and double check that my total here matches the income total that we had. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, and that's just how I close out my week. And then that helps me to then close out my month. So I thought just jump on and do a quick little video while the little ones are napping and my partner and the oldest one are at the shops just to show you a little bit more of how we make our budget work because everybody's different with the way they do things. So thanks again for watching. Um, as always, please give the video a like. Um, I love having comments below. I love, you know, sort of being in contact with other people that are interested in budgeting. And if you found this video and some of my others, if you found that you liked watching them, please subscribe because it just helps uh, the channel sort of get out there and reach more people. But anyway, thanks for spending your time with me. Bye.